hi guys welcome back today i'm going to show you how to import emails from outlook make sure outlook is installed in the same pc as the excel and we are going to see two levels of import one is going to be a subfolder to an inbox and another uh, level is the relative to the inbox so let's get started right away You can follow along this tutorial to find out neat tricks how to build your own importer function or you can find the link below in the description for a completed excel file. Now let us create two input fields from date the input taken from cell B1 and the folder name the name of the folder set in outlook which will be set in cell D1 in our case it's going to be ping space results the date field is a filter condition so that only the emails from the set date and above are retrieved let me enter the date 4th of June as I know that there are emails in the folder okay create an output field called total message which will return the total number of emails retrieved in the cell b2 also create a label to define whether the folder is relative to inbox or at the same level we will see this what this means in a moment create the column headers for the retrieved emails date email from subject and the body let me make the email body column is a little bit wider to show the details of the email now let us save the file make sure you save the file as macro enabled after saving the file go to the development menu if it is not present in the ribbon menu then go to file options and select customize ribbon and check the developer checkbox from the development menu select the form checkbox and edit the checkbox name to s and rename it to check from the formula menu like so To differentiate the input fields, we will highlight it like so. Before going into the VBA part of this video, let us review how the Outlook email account is set up. For this, open the Outlook application. Make sure your email address is already connected in Outlook. I mentioned earlier that we could retrieve the emails from folder which is either related to the inbox or at the same level. Directly below is relative to the inbox and make folder names are same as defined in the folder name field. To create a relative folder just right click on the inbox and select new folder and give it a name and to create a folder at the same level as inbox right click on the email address and select a new folder button okay now the folders are created so i will remove the dummy folders i've already have ping result folders created which contains the emails Now let's switch to Excel VBA and start typing our code. First here, create a module and the first function 
which we are going to create is the clear range function. This function will clear all the contents below the header row which is at a number 4. You can pause the video here and note down the logic. Now the next function is going to be importing the emails. First we will clear the range, create a variable for an outlook application like so, create a variable for outlook namespace and for folder object which is going to map the folder which we saw in outlook. Create a variable for the email items like so. Finally create a iteration object which will loop through the email items. Now get the folder name from the active sheet from the range D1. Okay, set the Outlook app instance, set the namespace and also create a, a error handler. This error handler make sure that excel does not crashes immediately here set the total number result to folder not found and the font color red reset all the objects like output app namespace so that next time you run the macro runs hassle free okay let's go back to our main function and here we check the state of the checkbox and set the outlook folder object if it is unchecked, then the folder is at the same level as inbox. If the checkbox is checked, then the value folder is relative to the inbox. Once the Outlook folder is set, now we retrieve the email objects. Like so. Sort the items according to the receive time so that the latest emails is available as the first email in our results column. Now let's print the results from the email object. Using the iteration value variable which we defined earlier, we are going to print the results which are greater than the time specified in the cell B1. Yes. Now let us print the receive time, the sender name in the column email from and the subject and also the body of the email. We need to increment the counter so that the next email object will be printed. Finally, we will display the total number as the iterator value minus 5. Don't forget to reset the values so that the next time when you run this function, it works hassle free. After resetting the objects, exit the sub. Okay, now let's switch back to Excel. Here we need to insert an object to call the import emails macro. For that, go to the insert menu and select a rectangle object. Type import emails and assign the macro import emails by right clicking it. After assigning the macro, let's save the file and try executing it. Oops, here's a bug in the program. This is because Cell does not know the Outlook object is to stop the execution of the macro by pressing the stop button. Now go to the tools menu and select preferences and from there select Microsoft Outlook 16.0 object library. Usually this is installed along with Outlook application. So. After selecting it, save the file and let's go back to Excel and try it out. Okay, now execute the macro again. We see here the function has been executed, but it is still having an error. 
it may be because I need to save this as macro enabled. Let me save this file as macro enabled now and try it again. Okay, the error still persists. Ah, the error can be that we inserted form checkbox instead of active X checkbox. So now insert the active x checkbox and rename it check and with along with the caption s like so Okay, now let's execute the function again. Oh, something else, something new happening. The function seems to be working, but we still don't see the results. Maybe the date field format is not correct. Let us check. As suspected, the format is general. Now we need to set the format to short date. Okay, after setting it, save the file and execute the import function but still we don't find the results maybe outlook requires the date to be in us format save the file and execute the macro voila we get the results and the emails are sorted according to the descending order that is the earliest email at the top and the boldest at the bottom Perfect. We can also see the total count 19. Let me just format it and center it so that it's legible. To check whether the filter function is working, we could set another date. For example, 20th of June 2021. And click the import function. Perfect. We can see another count. Now let's see whether the checkbox works. Oops, there is zero. The reason for this is that in the selected time period, we don't have any emails. So I will change the date to 14th of June 2021 and execute the macro. Voila, we got emails from the folder related to inbox. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.